you're going to need a Doppler device and a sphygmomanometer, that manual blood pressure cuff. Good luck finding one in your hospital. Welcome back to Rip It's Day 25, and today we're talking about how to get a blood pressure for a patient with a left ventricular cyst device. Left ventricular cyst device, or LVAD, on their own should be a crit bit. But as a summary, these are pumps that are surgically implanted to help push blood out of the left ventricle into the ascending aorta. Because these patients' left ventricle are typically very weak if performing at all, you don't get the typical systolic ejection and the diastolic recoil phase from the arteries. These pumps provide a linear flow, and what this this creates is a mean arterial pressure. It's like a continuous flow of pressure going into the arteries. Using a blood pressure cuff alone is not going to get you the blood pressure for this patient. So what are you going to do? You're going to place the Doppler in the antecubital fossa, listening for a Doppler flow. Once you find that flow, that's where you're going to find your blood pressure. You can go ahead and mark this area or keep the Doppler right there. Then take that sphygmomanometer, put it on the arm, and inflate that blood pressure cuff until you lose that Doppler signal. Where you lose this sound is the mean arterial pressure. That's the pressure you're looking for. And you can deflate that cuff listening for that flow again as a confirmation for where that map is. Of course, if you have someone who's critically ill, you're going to have to measure the blood pressure multiple times. It'd be wise to put an arterial line in because you don't want to do this every single time you're curious of what the map is. Just as a review, whenever you're taking the blood pressure for a patient with an LVAD, 